Nikita Dragon has once again managed to get herself into a ton of drama, but this time, Netflix was there to expose everything. It's a mess, so let's get into it. So, this weekend, after a lot of delays, the Hype House Netflix show was finally released. Now, if you want my opinion, I feel like it was too little too late, especially since the Hype House has kind of already died off. The Hype House was at its peak in popularity during the beginning of 2020, and within these last two years, everyone has already gone their separate ways. The show was supposed to air in 2021, but then that whole situation with Sienna May and Jack happened, and Netflix had to take the show in a completely different direction. It looks like the different direction ended up being Miss Nikita Dragon. Even though Nikita is an unofficial member of the Hype House, I'd say she took up like 96% of the show. I mean, let's be real. After Charlie, Dixie, and Addison left, it just wasn't that interesting. The Netflix show also exposed a lot of not so good stuff with the house. I thought they were gonna try and make them look as good as possible, but that definitely didn't happen. They put on blast all the pandemic partying, partying while having COVID, and ultimately the breakdown of the hype house. A really large part of the series was about the conflict in LeRae and Nikita's friendship. LeRae opened up to one of his friends about some issues he was having with Nikita. He was really annoyed because people were saying that he changed once he started hanging around Nikita and how disappointed his community was in him because of the friendship. Now, Netflix really went in on this topic. They showed tons of tweets calling Nikita out for blackfishing. They flashed pictures of Nikita where she was accused of self-tanning a little bit too much, editing her photos to look a certain way, and wearing certain hairstyles. They even showed the tweet where Nikita said, what race is Nikita gonna be today? Nikita blackfishing has been such a huge topic online and one that Nikita seems to avoid. She's been called out time and time again but nothing really seems to get through to her. Even though Lorraine and Nikita are best friends, he said what she was doing was really offensive and he wasn't just gonna stand by and let her get away with it. Later on in the episode, Nikita went over to Lorraine's house and he confronted her. He came right on out and said he can't sit back and not say anything because Nikita doesn't look like the pictures that she's posting online. He said Nikita comes off as ignorant and he can't defend her on this subject and either she fixes it or he's out. You would think your best friend sitting you down and telling you what you're doing is wrong would maybe make you second guess your actions, but not Nikita. Nikita said it's her natural skin tone or the lighting and it's just people trying to expose her. LeRae wasn't having any of it. He was rolling his eyes and just didn't want any part in her excuses. He later did a confessional and said he was really feeling gaslit by Nikita. Nikita told LeRae that she would rather be painted as a bad person rather than uphold some kind of standard that she'll never live up to. Pretty much saying that she doesn't want to change, so she'd rather just be problematic, so no one expects better from her. Nikita said when you become an influencer, you're held to such a high standard. You're expected to become a spokesperson, an activist, a model, a publicist, a manager, and you're not allowed to mess up in any way. In the end, Nikita did say she didn't want to come off as dismissive, but she also feels like she can never win. Pretty much what I got from the conversation is that Nikita doesn't really care, and she doesn't think she's doing anything wrong. Then they moved on to the COVID drama. They showed clips from the party that Nikita threw during peak COVID times. The party was for Lorraine and it was a surprise birthday party and people were so mad over this. This was right in the middle of lockdowns when everyone was being forced to stay inside and everyone's life was changing. Seeing influencers go out to party was honestly such a slap in the face for so many people. During the series, Nikita finally admitted that the party she threw wasn't COVID safe and said it was a really dumb decision. Now this is where the drama happens. Towards the end of the COVID episode, Nikita got a call from one of her managers saying they had an issue. Nikita's manager told her that LeRae's manager reached out to them and said Nikita got a little bit too drunk at a party and forced LeRae to come to the party to get her despite him testing positive for COVID. Nikita said that never happened. She never forced him to go to a party and she was also under the impression that he had a false positive. He told her that he tested positive at first, but on a second test, it was negative. As if that makes it any better. 
Nikita claimed that he came on his own free will and she never even texted or called him asking him to come. Obviously, Nikita was extremely upset with Larray because if that info had gotten out, she would have been canceled. Nikita was already seen as a selfish person going to parties throughout the entire pandemic and not wearing a mask. She felt like Larray was messing with her brand and her money by putting the blame on her. Before the series ended, Larray and Nikita made up, but people watching the series were pretty pissed. Throughout the pandemic, Larray was posting on his stories telling people to stay home and be safe, yet he's out here partying after receiving a positive result. Surprisingly, a lot of people side with Nikita on the situation and said it's not Nikita's fault and the blame falls 100% on Larray. Here's what people had to say. I don't like Nikita that much, but it really isn't her fault because she didn't know he had COVID until after. Not a big Nikita fan, but it wouldn't be her fault anyways. At the end of the day, he came to the party infected, which is beyond messed up. Regardless if Nikita did say come, he's a full battle and responsible for himself, and he knew he tested positive. But now that Larray is getting a ton of backlash, he's backtracking and shifting blame onto Netflix. He went on Twitch and said he felt like production was throwing him under the bus because they needed to make up a new storyline since they had to cut Sienna and Jack from the show. I do not. I do not. No. No, I do not claim any energy from the Hype House show. That did not happen. Also, quick fun fact. Um, the Hype House show, if you watched it, episode three is fabricated and fooled a lot of it because it did not go to anti parties with COVID. Let's clarify that one. Let's just clarify that really quick because that is really bugging me. Um, so for those who saw that uh, hype house like show, you saw about my COVID situation, and I was really going to speak about it because I just felt as though like I don't like burning bridges nor conflict, but I feel as though I have the right to defend myself. Ew, it's so weird to think about it. But uh, first of all, let's just say that the COVID or the production team told me they weren't going to use my COVID situation at all in the show, but due to the fact that Sienna and Jack had their altercations and issues, they needed something with, um, you know, a storyline, and they had to paint that to be the storyline, which is- He later went on to say that the people at Netflix are hating who put out a false narrative because they're jealous of his career. Oh, you got pinned as a villain in the high five show, huh? They painted me out to be the bad guy. <laughs> Change the subject before I end up having to tweet somebody right now. What did, what were they getting on you about in the Hype House show? Um, they were all kind of saying the same. <clears throat> they're like, oh, he's kind of a snake. Yeah, there was all a bunch of um, hating, <laughs> playing false narratives because they're jealous of my career successfuls and then they're not. <laughs> okay, on to me. What do I need to work on? I but now people are wondering if Nikita and Larray are even friends anymore. Right before the show aired, Nikita put out a cryptic message on her Instagram about the show. She wrote, y'all are really about to see how your faves really act on this Netflix show. All I know is I kept it 100. So it's unclear if that was an indirect about Larray or if it was just a way to drum up drama to get people to click on her Netflix show. Finally, the last drama from the show was actually about Trisha Paytas. In an opening scene, Nikita called her mom to talk about the drama that she got into with Trisha. Last year in March, when Trisha wasn't Hare Krishna yet, she tweeted out making fun of Nikita's Snapchat show. Nikita was obviously really bothered by her tweet because it ended up becoming a huge fight with hundreds of tweets back and forth. There was this little girl, Trisha Paytas, and she tweeted basically downplaying me having a second season of my Nikita Unfiltered show. Snapchat you know, show. Like, like laughing faces and like, oh yeah, you know, on Snapchat. And so I just like, tweeted her back and I just was like, yeah, I mean, 30 million views and a billboard on Sunset, but let me go back to filming my Netflix show, right? It wasn't even... <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, this really wasn't Nikita's Netflix show. Nikita isn't even an official member of the Hype House. She really wiggled her way in with a bunch of 18 year olds and probably managed to grab extra screen time after Sienna got cut. Nikita even admitted during the show that she was kind of living the high school experience through these kids because she missed out on it herself. I really think Netflix was just in a tough spot after having to cut so much footage out and Miss Nikita Dragon was just the drama they needed. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.